There's, there's a lamppost that's fallen down and the car is about here. That was a scent. Hi, I'm Adam C and welcome to the Ready Japanese Me exit. This is the cars leaving. I've already done a cars arriving video. If you haven't watched that, you could do that first or just enjoy this video. <laughs> shouting at me and heckling. You can see some burnout lines from earlier. There's an MX-5 arriving side. Oh no, he bailed out of that one. He's on fire. He's on fire. Something's on fire. Oh no, Sparks, his exhaust has fallen off. Oh dear. Happy Halloween everyone. It's very Oh no, he's just going slowly so we can get a bigger fare. That's what they do, isn't it? Hello, people in the back. You're going to be paying a lot of money. Here comes something with one wheels peeling. There we go, the one series. The next car to appear is an Evo. Here comes the Evo. someone crash oh no people are running so I think someone's crashed on the other carriageway that's why people are telling him to slow down I can't see anything everyone's still walking people are walking back Adam hello uh, is he gone is that it I don't, I don't know what's happening is there nothing to see is that it just a breakdown a breakdown what there's nothing, out of there's nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Someone broke down and they've now fixed themselves, is what happened. They did, they did fix themselves. That was really boring. <laughs> well, that's actually good news, because no one's crashed, so we're, we're fine. <laughs> but it's amazing how right, everyone... Is that it? Yeah. Oh. Hey, Hello! Hello! What oh, I don't see! Oh, he fell off the bike. Hey, yeah, yeah, we didn't, we didn't see it. You see where those tire marks are? It's back on the More people are saying that apparently a bike did do something wrong. It wasn't just a breakdown. It's weird. That must have been over a hundred people that just charged down the road to see what was going on and somehow they worked out that something had happened here. Let me show you what, what it was. So a bike was coming up here just like it's happening now. Good job I can run and I think he just kind of went through there. It sounds like I'm missing content. So I don't know which bike it was, but apparently he kind of lost it and then fell off the bike about here. His mate has since picked up the bike. His mate's driven the bike off and he's hopped home. So one of these people who's hopping might have been the culprit, but we don't know. That is, it must be, oh my God. Someone locked up the brakes there. Is that, no, I don't think it is. Someone's doing a burnout over here. Cheap rubber. Hello. There's an MX-5 doing a burnout behind the laurel that's leaving. I don't know what engine this is. It's something two and a half meters straight six turbo, maybe a one J or maybe something different. It, it tried a burnout. There we go. Three's and a 
so that traffic can see down the road when they pull out. There's something a little different. I know that this E36 is going to go sideways. Oh! Oh! Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Someone's crashed. Look, someone else has crashed. This time it's a car. Let's go again. Here we go. Look, people run. Everyone's very helpful. We're just going to walk in the road now. This is the slowest departure of the lot. The MX-5 is just cruising whilst everyone goes to help the car that's, uh, that's been it. Has it all on. He almost... <laughs> Land Rover to the rescue, seeing if he can put it out from the hedges. This time, well, I think it was a bike last time that fell off, apparently. I've just walked into a roundabout without looking. That's dangerous. Hello, Adam. Hello. Right, is he in the hedges? I think he's maybe in a bush. There was a little lick of fire from the EP3. There's a lamppost that's fallen down, and the car is about here. That was a scent. Oh, it was a golf. Another, another crash has happened as well. Yeah. I don't know why everyone's following, but they are. So we're going to see what happens. We're pulling into another part of the estate to get the golf out of the way to be recovered properly. They're running because getting their steps up. So we've parked the golf in front of a nice modern and picturesque building. And I imagine the owner doesn't want people crowding around anymore because, oh, they're pushing it into a space. There you go. There's his resting place of the golf. Green Park security have now arrived in force, wondering what's going on with all the people in the car. Security are stopping people from... Run out of skill, I see. No, yeah. Security don't want people in, in the car park anymore. They're, they're telling the BMW to reverse. Land Rover's getting out of here after his uh, good deed. So whilst more people go to see what's going on, um, I did get news of another incident, apparently on the same roundabout, about the same time, an MX-5 lost it getting sideways and is now changing his wheel. I don't think he's going to still be there, but uh, we've seen enough of that. But basically what happened is the Golf was flying down the road, E36 Compact came out sideways, a bit close to the Golf, that might have disturbed the Golf and his driving, and then somehow he ended up hitting a lamppost. Now I can't see the MX-5, I don't think he's still there, so I'm going to show you the lamppost. Ah, uh, the good people of Reading have re-erected the lamppost that has been here. I don't know where the top of it's gone. Who's got the top bit? Oh, no. <laughs> that has been oh. flattened. Oh, is it How oh, hard did he hit it? That must have gone in over the bridge. Oh, sorry. Where's all the connections? So it seems he was coming up here a bit too fast. You can see he understeers. You can see the tyre track. Then he hit the curb here. And then across here and straight into that lamppost. And that's where he ended up. The MX-5 that crashed was over there. I don't know if many people saw it and I don't think it's still there. And as we found out, the light on the top of the lamppost has since been stolen by someone because we are in Reading. It seems it's the MX-5's lucky day today because he's gone. 
and no one saw him do anything because we were too busy. What's that golf doing? Yeah, we were too busy looking at the golf. Not that one. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, I'm being beeped up. This golf's parking in a police bay. Oh, I tripped over. What? What even? Ugh, what is that? I don't want to touch it. So, <laughs> what else have we got? Are there any cars left? There's a few people left. We can see tyre tracks over there for some previous antics and here. There's still a good few cars inside. It's quite calm now after what's happened. There's almost quite a nice JDM gone boy. Got the Chaser, then a Fiesta, then the Sora, then a JZX90. <laughs> This LS430 has met a curb somewhere or something else. And this 7 Series is slammed as the Laurel departs. Oh, the police have found the lamppost that is down and they're talking to a crowd. I'd imagine trying to ask them what happened and why all of the traffic lights are now out. Let's have a closer look. Look, there's no power to the roundabout. Look, nothing at all. Nothing. It's all gone. He's killed all the power. The uh, street lights are on a different circuit, but they've got the lower lamppost that he hit, and then the traffic lights. And there goes a Toyota Chaser in white. Obviously, the police doesn't know that just around the corner is the smashed up golf. Or maybe they do, but maybe the owner doesn't want the police to know that they're getting back into their car. Now, if they go left, that means they found him. Let's see where they go. He's been bamboozled. He doesn't know where the car has been put. They've, they've won there. <laughs> police lights are off. All the stars, all five or six of them have gone. The security have called the police. Ah, oh, so, right. So they know where they are. Right, OK. Well, that I was wrong then. <laughs> OK, correction. The, the security will have called the police. That makes sense. Uh, so the police probably have gone down to see what's going on. But who knows what happens? They've left him to it. Uh, and they seem to have left us to it. There hasn't been a lot of police presence tonight compared to usual. And this highway maintenance van with lights and stuff wants to go where that golf has been parked. Oh no, they don't know they're gonna do a emergency repair. That's what they're here for. Highway maintenance to the rescue, arriving at the broken lamppost to solve all the traffic lights on the roundabout. Oh no, they're just, no, they've gone. When suddenly a V8 7 series. ran over something. He was too low to drive up there. Oh, of course, yeah. Because there's no traffic lights now, that car is completely confused and worried. Very nervous. Yeah. Ah, oh, there goes the MX-5. The MX-5 that crashed. He's got his rear bumper on the top of his car. So he was still there. He's managed to escape. That's the one that... <laughs> oh, well. Hello. Oh. Police are inbound. So police are on foot now. <laughs> ST doesn't realise. Sirens, oh they're responding to something else now. Or maybe one of the same incidents is... Or maybe the MX-5 that drove away. Oh, there goes a chaser. Did hit boost. And look, inside the event, police are doing laps. Inspecting the chaser, loving the chaser. Getting out to have a look at the chaser. They've also got the Supra behind as well. Do you think he's loving the ch What? That was weird. But it seems all we've got left at the end of the night is the Supra with its 2J on display and a bit of a sound system behind it next door to an old Toyota Celica with a 4-litre Rover V8 from a TVR. You can see the TVR rocker covers on it. Rover V8 with a supercharger as well and a Corsa. And inside the Corsa, when oh, the bonnet's up, of course, we're going to see a V6 with turbos as well. So. Turbo V6 in the Corsa, supercharged V8 in the Toyota, and then obviously the 2JZ in the Supra. I presume it's turbo. And a V6 Mazda MX6 revving with its custom exhaust. So I'm going to leave those two. We've got another barge part next to them now as well. I could park mine next to it and get a trio, no, a, a 5 -0. What's a 5 -0? A, a, a five cars in a lineup. I won't. So that's the chaser. Hope you enjoyed that video from the Reading Japanese meet. 
been a busy one today. Been following me in all my social channels for updates, highlights, and pictures that I get up to. Uh, there's merch links down below as well. But for now, thanks for watching. Let's see if you can see where the MX-5 went wrong. Ah, oh, yes, he hit the he hit the guardrail there. That's where the MX-5 went wrong. Evidence.